So today we are going to talk about how to draw. We're going to draw a still life. So a still life is basically something that is set up that you are drawing. It wouldn't be a person. Um, it would be just something that's sitting. So a lot of times they are fruit or flowers, um, faces, things like that. So I have a bowl and then an apple, a lemon, and a banana because those are pretty simple shapes um, and that shapes that we are pretty familiar with. Okay, so I like to start kind of by getting the bowl on my paper first um, and then start to work into the fruit. It does not matter what order you want to start with it. So if we think of the bowl, usually I think of a circle shape. So I'm going to draw a circle. Okay, so there's my bowl. And then I know that the bowl has an edge. It's not just floating. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And I know it's attached right to the circle. And I'm going to go ahead and make my circle just a little bit darker. So it is showing up there. Okay. So now there is my bowl and then the sides. And then I can start to put the fruit in. So I have, let's see, an apple. I have a lemon. And then I have my banana. Okay, I'll just try to go over them to make them dark enough to see. So here's my drawing, here's my bowl of fruit. Doesn't quite match up. So let's break it down and look at some things that did not go very well and things that I could do better. So first we know that the bowl is a circle, which is what I drew, but if we are looking, let's see if I can point at this. If we're looking at it this way, the circle goes from this shape if we're looking at it from the top the shape of the bowl and then it's really angled down because we're not looking at it from here we're looking at it from this direction so if I take my circle like the bowl like this and then I tilt it I can see it's more of an ellipse or kind of like a flattened out not necessarily an oval um, but it's not a super round shape circle. So that is one thing that I can improve on. Second, if I'm really looking at the shape of the bowl, I knew that my sides came down and mine ended up almost straight um, and kind of almost having square 90 degree edges. So if I'm looking at this bowl and I'm looking at the edge, it does not go straight down. It curves inward and it's kind of like a soft edge. So that's another thing I can improve and then there's a ton of space. The shapes of the fruit are decent, um, but eh, decent. But then there's a ton of space left in here that if I'm looking at the bowl, I am not seeing. Um, and again, part of that is because of the way that I drew the circle. So let's take that paper. That was a good learning step. Now I can see um, differences between my drawing and my still life here and I want to improve those. And I'm going to do one more mistake that's kind of common is I'm going to put the countertop right here because I know the bowl is sitting on it. Okay, so that's round one. Okay, so I'm ready for a fresh start knowing what I know now. So a lot of drawing is looking at it and seeing how it actually is. Again, when we think of the bowl as a circle in our head, that's when we get the weird shapes because we're like, oh, we know how that looks in our head. And even though it's in front of us, we're not looking and examining and seeing how things fit together and how the actual lines and shapes are that we're seeing. So I'm gonna start with my bowl again. And let's see, I guess maybe it's easier if I draw up closer. Okay, so sometimes to make myself make Ooh, my eraser is not working very well to make myself make my drawings big enough because I tend to draw small I sometimes start with like okay here's how big I want it 
and then kind of give myself parameters so then I can go back in and fill in those lines. So, Okay, so that's a little bit better. That's workable. And then I always draw light at first, which I'm trying to draw dark so that it shows up well on the video. Um, but if you draw light, then it's easy to adjust your lines. So there's a better, I think, representation of the open of the bowl. I still might have made it a little bit too wide. I could probably bring my line up a little bit, but I'm gonna work with it for now. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in the bottom of the bowl. So one thing that you can do either like with your pencil or your eye is you can kind of generally measure things. So if I take my pencil, it's about towards the front is about this much. And then I can take that same measurement and I can say, okay, so the bowl looks like it's about a third of a third of the height tall as it is wide. So you don't have to take out a ruler and measure everything precisely, but then we can kind of use that same idea in our drawing. So my bowl actually measures about the size that it did on the pencil. And then I can say, okay, so I know it's about a third. So if I break it down, it's like one, two, three. And then I can take that measurement and say, okay, that's about how tall my bowl needs to be. And then again, like I, said before, if I put my pencil, it is not a straight line, it angles. So I could even kind of, you can stand back and you can kind of close one eye and line that up and then you can take that angle and get that into your drawing. But I'm just gonna kind of freehand it, okay. So I also see it has a little lip, a little edge and that the bowl isn't touching right at the edge. Um, the edge kind of comes down. So, let's see. I don't know. Okay, yeah, you can see the bowl. Okay. So, I don't think that my bowl is super even or super centered. But again, I think it is an improvement. And I can work with it and adjust as I go. So we're looking better than what we had before. Bowl wise, much better. Okay, so now I like to start, again, you can work how you want. I like to start with the fruit that's in front because if I drew the whole banana, the apple is covering a lot of it anyways. Um, so I like to start with what I see and then I can add in the parts of the banana that are behind. So again, going back to this one for a second, um, sometimes in class when I would have the bowl of fruit set up, um, because again, it's familiar, it's simple shapes. Um, so that's why I like to draw from it. The apple, again, we can kind of go back to our measuring. So the apple takes up about maybe a little more than half of the bowl. So that was another issue that was here. I could fit like way more than what is shown here. So then you wouldn't be creative by adding a ton of grapes and maybe um, a watermelon or pineapple into your fruit. You wanna draw what you're seeing and you can use your creativity in the background. So I want my apple to fill as much space of this bowl as it does this bowl or vice versa. 